Hey guys, I'm the one you lost, and in this video I'm going to show you how I drew this artwork of Ina from Hollow Life. So, this one is definitely a lot more crazy. Um, I also really like how I did the face this time. It just kind of felt really, really nice. The goal was almost like a, um, think of like a Chinese New Year's dress. Even though Chinese New Year isn't anywhere close to being, um, or like an evening dress. Even though it's not really, I would say, appropriate time of year for that. I still really wanted to draw it because... I like shinier material when it comes to clothing. Um, by the way, if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Lost. I'm a uh, freelance artist from Texas who mostly just draws for fun and just has a good time. And if you would like to see more of my videos, that's awesome. Um, also, if you want to see more uh, tutorials or art process videos, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Helps out a whole lot. But anyway, straight back to the artwork. We are working with um, kind of a, an idea that I wasn't sure if I could execute, if I'm being 100% honest. It was kind of a weird um, pose with the, the chest leaning back, but the torso, not torso, but the hips kind of being fronted prominent, which is a bit of a trickier pose for me personally. And planning it out was a little more difficult than um, I initially had hoped. But for the most part, I think I did okay, and I'm actually quite proud with how it turned out. I even got to download a few uh, brushes from Clifcito Pants Asset Store, specifically involving, like, uh, Chinese textiles, which was a whole lot of fun. I, I initially hand-drew it, but I thought it looked kind of poor, if I'm being 100% honest. But that's okay, that's just how it goes sometimes, and it's up to you to fix it later. So here we're just planning everything out beforehand and trying to make it look nice. Just checking everything to make sure it looks good for the final product. If you're also a new uh, viewer, just know that I have aphantasia. And that means basically I can't see things in my head. Like, it's hard to describe. Like, I can visualize concepts. And I can... It's just, it's mostly black in my head, but, like, concepts and, like, the ideas of words um, can be seen, but not an image. But, um, yeah, originally I wasn't sure who this was going to be, but I very quickly, as I was going, was like, I want this to be Ina. Because, uh, poor Ina, recently she had a whole situation where her manager forgot to renew her visa while in Japan, so she couldn't do her, uh, special, um anniversary um collab with a bunch of people which was really sad so in a way I wanted to be like uh, here's an artwork for Ina she's she's going through a lot right now but here we have the uh the plan basically and I I'm going to be adjusting the canvas to fit the character because I've always um been of the mindset that draw the pose then fit the canvas to the pose unless the background is the focus since the character is the focus, I want to make sure the composition works for the character. So I did some tonal curve to kind of plan it out. And um, yeah, that's basically what I've been doing. Um, I do want to make it a point recently. I had a, um, I had a new invite to my Discord. And usually um, things go well. But this time we, we had one person who... Uh, did not listen to a mod when they came in. And that was really disappointing because I, um, I didn't want, I don't like banning people from the server, but I have like a zero tolerance rule for people who blatantly or are disrespectful or rude to my mod. Um, most of the mods I have are people who are people I've, I've known for a while and I trust. So disrespecting them is like disrespecting a dear friend of mine. So um, I, I do want to make it a point that if you don't agree with the rules of my Discord server, that's okay. You're allowed to disagree. Just know that there it's my server, my mods, my rules. If you don't follow the rules or could potentially be seen as a future problem in my eyes, I will remove you. Um, it's as simple as that. Um, it doesn't matter how 
and for lack of better words, how rude that sounds. It's just the way it is. Um, I, I'm well aware that there are some people in my server who are on the younger side, so I expect people to behave themselves and act like a minor is present at all times. Whether you're a kid or you're an adult, you are expected to behave yourself. Um, it's just a matter of the way it has to be. Um, and I think all adults online should view it that way that at all times a minor is present because people lie about their age it's just a fact of life i did it when i was a kid on the internet i said i was 18 when i was only like 14 or 15 it's just it comes with um being a kid and wanting to be in adult spaces but that's why in a weird way i feel you should constantly be aware that that can happen so Coming into my server, causing a fight, and disrespecting a mod is going to get you banned. And doing anything that is inappropriate, whether it be um, in what you think is the company of all adults or not, the reason I don't allow it and the reason there's no NSFW on my server is because we're, we're not dealing with, uh, with potential bad situations with kids being in the server. So now that that little rant's out of the way, um, we did take up a good chunk of our, our time doing the line art, which is very nice. Um, I ended up replanning a bit here. I didn't know what I wanted to do with the hand. I ended up cheating. I hid the hand. I know I'm, I'm terrible, but, um, yeah, so I ended up deciding going against the hand and just being lazy and I don't recommend you do that. The hand adds a lot to the, uh, emotion of an artwork. So uh, one of those do as I say and not as I do moments. So, sorry, I, I was a bit lazy. But for the most part, I, I kind of changed the whole vibe of this artwork. Um, I copied and pasted and flipped horizontally the wings because I was, like I said, being lazy. And I decided to change things up in terms of um, the hair. I thought the flowy hair was nice, but I wanted draping hair because I thought that would look so uh, beautiful. So you'll see, I changed it up here. I, I made the hair kind of drape off of a, uh, off of a tree branch, and I definitely think uh, it, it's an improvement. The flowing hair is nice, but it just didn't have that like wow factor or like that that uh, pizzazz that I like in my artwork. So anytime I can have like hair that like drapes is really really good. So now we're about to start rendering here pretty soon. And here I'm going to actually uh, crop later on the uh, the composition a bit because it doesn't quite fit. Um, I ended up going against the white um, idea. You can see I'm like planning out with the Chinese textiles that I found on uh, the asset store on Clip Studio. And I'm going to use a multiply layer on top of it to um, make it make the shadows affect everything in the folder. That is actually a trick I use to uh, affect multiple colors at the same time as I put all the colors into one folder. Then I create a clipping mask layer on top of the folder to affect everything in that folder. It makes things so much easier and very efficient. So there's the uh, composition crop that I was talking about. And now we're about to start rendering. So I started with the um, with the dress because it, it it's mostly skin, not fully like skin tight, but like... Um, a bit more tight in terms of uh, the abdomen and the chest. So that makes it to where um, it kind of, it just looks nice. I'm, I definitely uh, had to kind of figure it out as I went. But yeah, that was the whole idea. Um, I also highlighted the shadow part, then used the, uh, the uh, control and then clicked on the layer. That way I could highlight only what I wanted. And now we're doing the skin, and this this rendering happened really fast. I'm I'm a super fast render. I've always been kind of quick, but that was because in the past I used to uh, practice rendering while watching speed paints. So I tried to keep up with them in real time. So um, I'm I'm very fast and very precise. Uh, I really like how I did the hair this time. I found that since I've simplified hair, my hair has been looking so much better, and I'm I'm super proud of it. And I'm, I hope you guys notice it because 
in, in a weird way, as an artist, I think we all want validation for what we do. So if you, um, if you learned something through watching this process, um, please let me know. It, it makes my day when I find out that people learned something from my art or kind of became, um, more knowledgeable. So we are pretty much approaching the end here. I originally went with like this background of like, a. I don't know what these are called. They're like the tra like a traditional Chinese like architecture. And I liked the idea, but it just kind of busied up the background and I don't think it really added enough to keep it. So I ended up removing it. But yeah, we're basically going to be going and we're going to see this for a while until I decide to change it later. But um yeah, it was a decent idea, but you know, too much. Uh added an extra multiply layer to kind of bring out the darker hues a bit more, some color balance and some tonal curve. And pretty much we're uh, adding some add glow and we're pretty much done. Little adjustments here and there, getting rid of the multiply in certain areas, checking the hue and saturation, some dust of light, hard light, blurring it, adding some chromatic abrasion, little details with the hair, and there we go. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Helps out a whole lot. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.